Good morning, KNR family. Welcome back to another another vlog today. What is this lighting? What's happening? What is what's happening? There we go. So what we got going today is we are going to catch some crawdads out of the canal. We're actually going to go check my trap right now that I set yesterday. Hopefully catch some, and then we're going to boil some crawdads, some crawfish, whatever you call them. Gonna try to eat them. So y'all stay tuned. Let's go. Oh my goodness, that was a big weird white bird that just oh that scared me anyway here's the trap let me let me get this baby pulled in for us okay that's what I'm talking about I bet there's let's see boys let me pull this wow that is actually a solid amount of crawdads you guys can see those some look like decent size um yeah I bet there's easily a dozen in there oh my Okay, that is actually not what I was expecting at all, guys. Um, so I'm gonna get these, get this open, get them in a bucket, and then I'm gonna head to town where we cooked the carp, get together with a few of the squad. Right, boys, here is all of our crawdads. I'm, I didn't count them. We'll get a count when we get them out. I'm gonna say there's, there's gotta be at least 12, 14, I mean 14 probably about in there. So not a bad, not a bad little batch that we caught, especially this early in the year. So we're gonna head to town now. Get them cleaned, um, and get some supplies, get the water boiling, and hopefully have us a good little lunch. Getting in the lab. All right, boys, let's, we need to clean these things. All right, guys, we're going to get the seasoning from our good friend, Coach Johnson. He was in our last video. We're gonna get some seasoning, cut up the potatoes, start boiling. Get these crawdads cooked. They're getting cleaned right now. So let's go to his house to get some seasoning. All right, guys, we have all the, ingre all the ingredients we need for this. First, first things first, we have zero idea how to cook these. So don't hate on us. Don't say we're doing it wrong because we have no idea. So we got some potatoes. We're going to slice up. We're going to boil them. We got our crawfish seasoning that we picked up. We got an onion. We're going to cut the onion up, put it in there. We also got an orange to put in there just because we heard to put an orange. So we're going to get all this stuff in a pot, boiled, get the potatoes cooked. Once those are cooked, we're going to take our crawdads, put them in the pot, cook them up, and eat. It's going to be delicious. So let's get to work. We got to cut up some things with some knives, put them in the pot. Let's go. Just get a few. Yeah, just cut like that. Bring the water to a boil, add your seasoning, stir it all together, and you can put potatoes and whatever you want to cook with them. And then once they are done, add your crawfish, let them boil for three and a half minutes. All right, guys, the water. Okay, I might want to turn it down, actually, just the, just the hair. All right, it's coming to a boil. It's time to put our potatoes and our onions inside the water. Good. Maybe we should do some more potatoes, honestly. What do you, you know? You think we're good? I might need some more. Put a little bit right now. Probably good for now. You think? Yeah, we put the other one for the crawfish in. Alright. Now, you can stir it up a little bit, real quick. Do we need salt at all? Oh, yeah, we might want to add a little bit of salt in. All right, so we're gonna let those cook for like eight to 10 minutes, see if they're done. Then we'll add our crawdads, probably a little more seasoning and the oranges. Let those cook for about three and a half, four minutes, and they should be good. So it's starting to boil again. So we'll let these cook for about eight to 10 minutes, and we'll be right back. This one. All right, crawfish going in. I turn that back up a little bit. I'm getting excited. I think they're gonna be pretty good. This is this is one of the more well thought out ones besides the uh, the rabbit we ate. Carp muskrat, disastrous, especially carp. But this one's gonna be good. So, two minutes, 49 seconds until we eat. Let's go. All right, boys, the crawdads, they're looking good. They're looking good, look at that, mmm. So we got them turned off, took them off the, the hot one. We're gonna leave them for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, just let them sit in there, just let them soak. Then we're gonna take them out. We're gonna eat them. It's it's gonna be good. I'm I'm feeling. Like, I feel good. Uh, I'm hungry. Like it's gonna it's gonna be good. So we're gonna leave them ten minutes and we'll be right back. 
find neighbors stand side by side. Country, ride bike or hike the world famous Mighty Trail. <laughs> Let's eat. All right, guys, we got we got lunches served here. We're gonna we're gonna dish up dish up some crawdads with some potatoes. Let me just okay. I'm just gonna just get a few to start with. Just give me a few. All right, now I'm not even sure how you eat these. Like I'm not 100, percent but ew, dude, they're all they're all, they're all dirty on the bottom. They're all, they're they're all disgusting. Dirty. And then you gotta like twist their tail off. How is it? It's good. It really? It's kind of like it's definitely like a more fishy taste, kind of. There we go. And I, I didn't get the whole tail. Like I'm horrible at eating these, Are but they that good. Yeah, and then you just try to pull it out a little bit. Mmm. Not bad. Not bad. I, I think it's I think it's really good, honestly. Like I gonna try potatoes real quick. Oh yeah, see how the potatoes cook, dude. Take those roadhouse potatoes right there. The roadhouse potatoes. Those are good potatoes right there. Ah, this is a good beef fair. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. I like I like them. I think they're really good. They're it's messy. Really they're really messy, but and they're good. Let me slap a potato in there. Mm, potatoes are perfect too. <laughs> yeah. We did good. That is really good. All right, guys, we're gonna enjoy some crawdads. Maybe have some people come over and try them. But it worked. <coughs> Our little homemade recipe. <coughs> I'm literally <Aww>. joking. <laughs> it's spicy stuff. But anyway, we'll be back in just a moment. Hey, our boy B pulled up to the vlog. He's gonna try our crawdads here. Did you wash them? Yeah, dude, we, that's fine. What is that? You just eat it. That ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> just eat it. What are you thinking? Tastes like a lobster. Like, it's not bad. Try yeah. some of those potatoes. They're actually, they're, they have a little kick to them, just to beware. <laughs> but just put that baby in. Uh, the potatoes wow. are good. The potatoes wow. are fire. Yeah. I could just eat the potatoes. I know. That's what we ate more potatoes than crawdads so far, but there you go. B thinks they're good. Good. Hey, Griff, you're not going in. No. Okay, you're not going in, but they're not bad. They're messy, but it's good. I think we did a good job. Give me some of that right there. Let's go. What's up, guys? Sorry, we got busy cleaning everything up. You know, uh, it, was a, it was a mess. It was a mess to cook those crawdads, but it was a good time. They're really good. The potatoes tasted really good. They're really spicy with that seasoning we used, but they were super good. Overall, that might be the best catch clean cook we've done so far, besides the rabbit. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. We're definitely gonna do that again. Um, as it gets warmer, we'll have a bunch of friends over, cook a whole bunch of them. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, if you have anything else for us to cook, let us know below, because we are literally down for anything. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for the view. Let's go.